My name is Earl Voorhees, and I'm an agricultural engineer with the U.S. Department of Agriculture's Agricultural Research Service at the Fisher Delta Research Center. Today I want to talk about precision irrigation, also known as variable rate irrigation or site-specific irrigation, which is a focus area of my research program. I've been at the Delta Center since 2004. The other member of the ARS team here is Carly Moore, agricultural science research technician who joined us last year. If you've driven by a center pivot system when it's operating, this is probably what you saw, a series of sprinklers or spray nozzles moving through the field. For variable rate application, we use the same nozzles, but we cycle them on and off to get the application rate we want. We have three variable rate center pivots at the Delta Center, two valley systems and a zomatic. These are the same commercial VRI systems that would be on a farmer's pivot. Like variable rate systems for fertilizer or pesticides, there must be a prescription to tell the pivot how to operate in different portions of the field. The companies provide programs for preparing prescriptions for their systems. The question for the farmer is, what information do I base the prescription on? A good place to start is soil texture, which affects the soil's ability to store water. The picture on the left shows the map units from the county soil survey for one of our research fields. You can see that most of the field is mapped as silt loam, but we know from the appearance of the crop that the soil is not as uniform as the survey suggests. The green dots show points where we collected soil cores to test how variable the texture is. By measuring the apparent electrical conductivity of the soil with an instrument like the one pictured and relating it to the soil samples we collected, we're able to map the sand content in the field. In the image on the right, the red areas are the highest sand content, which have the lowest water holding capacity, and the green areas are the lowest sand content. Soil texture is a good start, but it doesn't change during the season. We need to prepare prescriptions that reflect the condition of the crop. We know water stress plants are warmer than plants with enough water, so we're measuring the temperature of the crop. We have infrared thermometers, or IRTs, mounted on the pivot and at two locations in the field. The red line in the graph shows the temperature measured by one of the IRTs on the pivot, while the orange line is from a stationary sensor and blue is the air temperature. Notice how the temperature varies as the sensor moves through the field. By knowing where the IRTs are mounted and the position of the pivot, we can map the temperature in each of the VRI cells with red being the hottest and white the coolest. We're also monitoring soil moisture in each management zone. The graph shows soil moisture content measured at four depths from July 29th through August 6th. The blue line is from the sensor six inches below the surface of the bed, and the others are deeper. It started raining on the 29th, but even with an inch and a half of rain on the 30th, only the shallowest sensor was affected by the rain. Much of the rain must have run off the field before it could soak into the soil. The ARS Irrigation Scheduling Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition, or SCADA, system was developed in conjunction with Valmont Industries, the makers of Valley Center Pivots. It combines information from the IRTs, soil moisture sensors, and a nearby weather station and prepares a VRI prescription like the one pictured. When the user is ready, the system will control the pivot and give updates on the status of the irrigation. In addition to this SCADA system, we're investigating other measures on which to base the VRI prescriptions. We have mobile sensors for measuring the normalized difference vegetation index, or NDVI, of the crop. And we know from earlier research that NDVI is related to crop water use. We're working with Jean Fonzu, Agricultural Systems Management, and Ajing Feng, PhD student, to collect data from the field using unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs. The images they collected last season showed the progression of NDVI through the season. The technology for variable rate irrigation is readily available from the pivot manufacturers. Our goal is to provide as much information as possible to help farmers take advantage of the technology to make efficient use of our water resources. Please contact me if you have questions regarding our research.